Hey, if you're a small business owner and you're the champion of the branding and marketing piece of your business, because sometimes you're the only person in the business, but even if you have team members and you're kind of overseeing this, I want to give you some advice today that you do not want to miss. So check this out. Hey, by the end of this video, I really hope I've helped you with some stuff that you need to focus on in your branding and marketing efforts of your business. Now, hey, look, I get it. Small business, I'm working 12, 14, 15 hours a day. Joey, I'm whipped, I'm wore out, I don't know if I can do anymore. And you're telling me you're about to add some more stuff to my monthly to-do list. I hate to say it, but yeah, nobody told you this was gonna be easy when you got into it. You can do this because either you're gonna take care of this or you're gonna park this off on somebody else on your team to help you do this, but it is imperative that you do this if you wanna grow customer acquisition and keep the customers that you have in customer loyalty efforts. And if this is your first time watching the channel, hey, I'm Joey, and I am on a crusade to help small business owners improve their small biz life. In fact, my personal mission statement is your success is my business. And yep, we're doing this from the kitchen because you know what I have found in my life? The conversation really is deep and makes a difference often happens in the kitchen. All right, so what I'm gonna encourage you to start doing is you have to monitor the customer engagement in all your social media sites. Now, hopefully, in this day and age, part of your branding and marketing strategy outside of radio, TV, and newspapers is your social media sites. I gotta guess that Facebook, you have a business page, not a personal page, but a business page on Facebook. You also have Instagram channel, a Twitter channel, a YouTube channel, a Snapchat channel, a LinkedIn channel, you gotta be everywhere because look, you don't know where your customers are hanging out. For me, I hang out on LinkedIn all the time. My second favorite is Instagram. I spend way too much time on YouTube. That's where I'm here. But your customers might be on Snapchat, on Twitter, on Pinterest. You gotta be everywhere. It's all about grabbing an attention, guys. It's all about being known. Grant Cardone says this, people don't do business with you for two reasons. Number one, I don't know you, and number two, I forgot you. So you have to constantly be in front of your customers, growing your customers and customer acquisition effort, and creating customer loyalty through your other branding and marketing efforts. So you have to be everywhere. Yes, it's true. Your problem in being everywhere is maybe you have some strategy for posting. Okay, so let's, let's narrow this down. You've identified that there's three or four out of all of these social media networks because where your customers are because you've taken the time to engage your customers through just question them through surveys and feedback to find out where a majority of your customers are and you're producing content, your branding and your marketing content on those social media networks, whether it's all of them or two or three of them. It's gotta be more than one, guys. Don't, don't, don't get on Facebook and think that, you're, that you've done all you can do. Putting out content on a regular basis. Now, a lot of times small business owners think, well, you know, I'm putting out content, I'm putting out content, I'm putting out content. Here is the piece that you're missing, and that is customer engagement that's right now look you're, you're hoping to get likes and thumbs ups and shares yes that's customer engagement but true customer engagement is when a conversation starts when they comment in your post about something and here's the challenge is the comments can be positive or they can be negative but engagement is when you get in actively engaged in those conversations. So how do you improve on this? That's, a, that's the question. You, because you can't just post, you gotta get in there and get involved with it. Now, I'm sure that you're monitoring this stuff happening because you're getting notifications that somebody's commenting this stuff. And hey, what you want is tons of comments. The, the likes, the thumbs up, the shares are great, without a doubt. But the comments are really where growth and branding and marketing can happen. 
So here's what you gotta do. You gotta get right in the middle of the action. That's right, you have got to go and you've got to engage, you've got to reply to all those comments that's being posted in your posting. Comments are gonna be positive and negative like we said, and that's just all part of it. The positive ones you wanna get in there and you wanna thank them, ask questions. Here's the other piece of all this engagement stuff is don't just say thank you. Somebody's put something, oh, that, that product was great. Your engagement piece can't be thanks a lot. Your engagement piece should look like this. It should be, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. How are you using this? What is it about the product? What is it about the service that you really like? How could we improve on it? Ask questions. Keep that engagement going. Remember, in social media sites, a lot of times, and you've seen this yourself, when conversation starts happening, when other people are in those conversations, they get those notifications. It shows up on their news feed, but it's a great way to keep the conversations going and getting other people involved in the conversations. Now, let's talk about the negative stuff. Okay, the yucky stuff nobody wants. I don't like it, you don't like it, nobody likes it. The biggest brands out there, they don't like it either. But how do you handle it? That's the key to the stuff. Number one, you, you can't ignore it. That That's a big no-no. Number two is if you are filtering comments before they post, you can't not post the stuff because here's what's gonna happen. Let's role play for just a second. I'm aggravated with you. I posted on one of your social media sites my aggravation and you're filtering stuff, you're, you're authorizing stuff to be posted and you don't let my stuff be posted. Look, I'm gonna see that because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna watch, I'm waiting for your response. And not only do you not respond to me, you didn't even post it. Well, you know what? There's a bunch of other social media sites, including that one. You know what? I don't have to post on your site. I can go tag you on that same social media. And you know what? Now you don't have any authorization opportunities. It's getting posted. And I I'm going to tear you a new one. Because not only did you cause me friction, you created some, whether it's my fault or your fault, you caused me to be upset and you're not doing anything about it and you're trying to hide it. So that just makes it worse for yourself. Now, when somebody posts something because you're getting engaged in it, number one, you can't get it, you can't get defensive. You can't get down there and tell them how they're an idiot and they didn't do it right, they didn't read the instructions, they didn't use it right, whatever. Maybe that was a challenge on your end up front by not proper communication, training, you know, showing them how to use this. So you can't get defensive no matter what. So, so don't do that, that paints you in a bad light for everybody, even though you think you're in the right. Again, your customer is the one that, that is upset and all the other customers are watching how you're handling this. That, that's really what's going on. Some tricks are, if you're filtering these before you paste them on the page because you're, you're doing authorizations for every, figure out what happened. You've got time, you can see it, do research. Figure out, hey, here's who I sold, here's what they have, call them, email them, there's some way that you can figure out how to get up with this guy. They post on your social media, you can backtrack through and direct message them. But the greatest thing is to call them and talk to them. Now, if you can work stuff out beforehand, instantly, I mean really quick, you can't let this linger anytime and fix it the best you can and then go ahead and post it. Have a conversation about, hey, you know what? I'm gonna post this now. I just wanna have a conversation with you, try to get this fixed beforehand, and I'm gonna put some comments in there uh, after I post it, you know, maybe that we've worked it out or here's how we're doing, but I'm gonna take care of this some way, but ne negotiate beforehand to try to work it out. Now guys, you can't always work stuff out. We all get that. It's, that's just part of it. There's some, some folks, unfortunately, that, that no matter what you do, no matter how backwards you bend over, sort of giving them the farm, you're just not gonna make happy and every business struggles and suffers with that. And, and I don't know that there's any great answer. You just don't get in the mud with them. Put your best foot forward, admit your screw up, regardless of whether you were at fault or not, there's some way that you let them down in the original training like we talked about. But you can't neglect these. Get in there and do your best you can to fix these, apologize, accept fault, admit that you screwed up, but you know what? You're sorry that you couldn't help them, you couldn't fix it, you know, offer them money back, that's typical, what everybody wants, give me my money back for my product, and move forward. You've done the best you can. 
but you've got to engage with those negatives one way or the other. Hey, I know this probably resonates with a lot of you guys, and you probably know a colleague, a business owner from another business that you might be friends with that probably needs to hear this. Take a moment and consider sharing this with them and help them do better at this too. And I'd greatly appreciate it if you take a minute and comment about some of the things that you are struggling with, some of the ways you've had success in engagement, some of the things I might have missed here that people should know about. Leave a comment about that. Help me out and help others out at the same time. You know, it's funny that we have all this technology now that's supposed to make it easier and help us out, help us be more productive, help us with more success, help grow and improve our small biz life, help remove the friction. But I tell you what, doesn't it seem like sometimes it creates so much more work? It's like, man, it's 24 seven here. It doesn't have to be. There's pieces and processes and stuff that can help you out and fix that for you. We can talk about that. Leave me a comment below. Another thing is that if there's any way that I can help you, I'm gonna put a card right here about how you can get up with me. Click that, scroll down to the contact me section. Link right there, little short 10 questions. Get that over to me. Gives me a heads up of some of the ways that I can help you improve your small biz life. All right, I hope this helps. I hope it gives you some more thoughts, processes, definitely a reminder of stuff that you cannot ignore. But you know what? I want to end this by saying that I really, truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to hang out with me. I know that I produce like longer videos than the experts on YouTube say you're supposed to do. But you know what? I figure if you're watching these, you're a small business owner and you're working hard and you're trying your best and you want every edge that you can get. And that's why I am on this crusade because I want you to have that edge. I want you to have that success. I want to help you head off the struggles and the frustrations and the kind of the failures and bumps in the road and the roadblocks that I've gone through in my small biz life along the way. So that's why I do this and I appreciate you so much hanging around with me to take the time out to do this. I'd love to hear from you again in the comment section below. I just can't thank you enough. Hey, I'm gonna post some videos right here I think about help you out too that will do you a lot of good in the free your small biz life. Remember, think creatively, remove the friction, and be uniquely better all the time. Sorry about the camera shake. And I am gonna do the same. Take care, and until next time, I'm out of here.